The recent news of a secret crime organization at PHS has been leaked out to the FBI. We've hired an expert detective to dress as a normal PHS student and figure out as much as he can about this criminal group. We believe it has something to do with these underground clubs. I am Isaac McDaniel, expert detective. Okay, time to get down to business. Montage done, and ah, oh, impact club. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna find the crime and stop it. So what exactly is this impact club, huh? What are you trying to do here? Uh, impact is a Bible study we have every Thursday at uh, in Mrs. Lang's room. We have some pizza so we can come and enjoy some time together. Um, uh, it's a place for spiritual support. Uh, Growing in our knowledge and in our faith and being there for one another in, in this school um, It's a really cool opportunity for um, For all Christians and uh, I would encourage uh, those who even aren't Christians to come and join us and, and have a good time So wait this impact club isn't impacting the school in a negative way You're not a crime organization able to take over the world No, the club isn't involved in world domination though, though I can't say I myself am uh, but you might want to check out World Quest for that. Ah, oh, World Quest. More like World Domination Quest. I don't know how I didn't see it before. Well, time to expose these troublemakers. Okay, I've been trying to interview these clubs and your club is at the top of my suspicion list. What exactly is World Quest? World Quest is... Basically, a friendly competition. We have four students on a team, and we'll travel to Portland in February to compete all day long. And if our team wins, they'll get a free trip to Washington, D.C. You're giving the students the ability to learn and travel across the world to Portland and maybe Washington, D.C. What exactly are these competitions involving? Well, there are ten rounds of um, competition. There are ten questions in each round, and the students work as a team at the table discussing what the proper answer would be, and they're scored immediately. They also get to have an, um, a meal that's from some other country, and workshops for about uh, 20 minutes each on dance and culture, music from around the world. So uh, there'll be uh, over 100 students there from all over the state of Oregon, and it's just really fun. That, that does sound like a lot of fun. So this isn't a crime organization? It's certainly nothing to do with world domination. Uh, well, Mike usually knows about crime. I'll talk to him now. Maybe I'll find something out. Where are they? Uh, who? The, uh, uh, um, the, the Mafia. What, are you playing with me? No, I'm playing magic. Ma magic? What, what is this sorcery? Well, Magic Club meets in Miss Green's room at lunch on Mondays and Tuesdays. We eat, we talk, and we play an awesome card game called Magic the Gathering. We're also willing to teach anybody interested, and my friend Brandon can get you any cards you might need. It's just a place to hang out, talk, and geek out. Super fun, yo. So, you don't know anything about the Robot Ninja Mafia? No. Dang it, what do I do now? I don't have any leads. You know who really knows about the Robot Mafia? The Brony Club. <clears throat> Alright, I'm at the last straw. A friend told me about your club and you're gonna tell me what it's all about. What is the Brony Club? The Brony Club is basically about a bunch of group members joined together to form a union of what we call Bronies. A union of bronies? What is it, some sort of ninja robot fighting mafia from Mars? What is a brony? Bronies are a term 
for fans of this new hit show, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. My Little Pony. Wait, so you guys are just some sort of admirer for a cartoon? What is this show? Now the show is not just some girly cartoon. It teaches friendship, love, and toleration, and helps provide lots of mental support for others. So, it's a funny show that teaches you good morals? That sounds really suspicious. What do you do in the group, huh? So far, what we're trying to do with the group is we're trying to organize some sort of uh, event so that we can help raise money for the Sparrow. So, you guys are just doing good deeds and talking about cartoon characters. Alright. I can't believe it. All these All clubs these seem friendly, friendly and uh, fun. fun. Why haven't I found out anything about the... Hello? Mr. McDaniel, we don't know what you're doing in Phoenix, Oregon. You're supposed to be in Phoenix, Arizona! Does that mean... No, we're not refunding your plane ticket. Girls Soccer Open Gyms will continue every Sunday from 4 to 6 in the small gym and also Thursdays 7 to 8.30. Also, there will be a parent meeting for athletes playing spring sports tonight at 6 in the Commons. They will be going over a lot of information and collecting physicals, proof of insurance, and pay-to-play -pay, pay -to -play fees. Congratulations to the girls basketball team whose season ended on Saturday after a rough loss to LaSalle. The girls finished second in the skyline and made the state playoffs. Great season, ladies. In other news, very few students are aware of our very own production company at Phoenix High School. The students in Miss Bork's class manufacture and sell various edible items that you can buy in stores all over the Rogue Valley. Mike Dosey has created a segment to spotlight the awesome work of, every, of our very own Sunbeam, co Sunbeam Company. Today I'm going to talk about something not a lot of people know about. Today I'm going to be doing a feature on the Sunbeam Company. The business originally operated through Ashland High School's alternative program. It was purchased for an educational tool and brought to PHS around 1993 or 1994. It was seized by the special ed program and assumed full management after one year. Well, you ask, how are students involved in the Sunbeam Company? Well, it's a student-ran business in that most of the tasks of producing the products are entirely done by the student labor. The tasks are run on like a production line model, much like Harry and David. The stations include recipe making, filling, weighing, labeling, stickering, sealing, packaging, bulk, inventory, running, or transporting. The advancement levels are observation, trainee, mastery, specialist, student manager. Students earn while they learn in that they earn a per shift stipend of pay well below the standard of minimum wage allowable by the state law standards. This income is used to teach money management and other financial skills. Pay is based upon daily performance evaluations and the level of advancement of the particular student worker on the wage scale. Students also earn a class grade for graduation credit. Well, I guess it's trivia time again. <laughs> Last week's question was, where is the girls basketball team playing in their state playoff game? The correct answer, the correct answer was LaSalle, and the winner is... Um, Denali and Mr. Jones's advisory. Um, congratulations, you've won some human being for Mr. C. Mr. Rose for your award. This, week, this week's <laughs> question is, when is the record book meeting for FFA members? Turn in your answers to Mr. Rhodes' room. Make sure to stick around for the pledge. As always, this has been your school, your people, and your news. Stay classy, Phoenix <laughs> High School.